69. Pasquale Revoltella. Once upon a time there was the Pharaoh's Canal, an artificial canal that connected the Red Sea to the Nile Delta, dug at the time of King Darius I of Persia, and then silted up over the centuries. This shortcut between East and West became topical again in the mid-19th century. European ships took four months to reach the Indies, circumnavigating Africa. It was necessary to open a faster route. This was useful to maritime powers such as France and by contrast also to Austria, to expand trade to the east and to relaunch the free port of Trieste. One of the first to seize the opportunity was the director of Generali, Pasquale Revoltella. By participating in this adventure, Generali reaffirmed a cardinal principle of their own history, a cosmopolitan vision, a drive towards new cultures. Venetian by birth, but a lifelong Triestine, Revoltella reached an agreement with the French entrepreneur Ferdinand de Lesseps to bring Trieste on board, and negotiated with Archduke Maximilian of Habsburg to obtain the support of the crown. Even those who regard the canal question with skepticism cannot deny that it would be very risky to remain indifferent and neglectful. In 1858, he assumed the vice presidency of the company founded by De Lesseps by concession of his friend Said Pasha, Khedive of Egypt. On April the 25th, 1859, at Port Said, De Lesseps gave the first pick stroke to open the future Suez Canal. The canal was built on the project of a Trentino engineer, Luigi Negrelli. In the winter of 1861, Revoltella went to Egypt to view the work. He reached Alexandria by steamer, travelled by train to Suez, and from there went up to the desert in a caravan escorted by Bedouins. On December the 17th in Cairo, he was received by the Khedive. The sea is the easiest and most convenient way of communication. An immense horizon opens up before us. A whole world. But it was to be Revoltella's only trip to Egypt. On September the 8th, 1869, Baron Pasquale Revoltella died in Trieste at the age of 74. Two months later, on November the 17th, the Suez Canal for which he had worked so hard was inaugurated in the presence of Giuseppe de Morpurgo, who had succeeded to him as manager of Generali. In order to cement the company's presence in Egypt, in 1911, the architect Antonio Lachac from Gorizia designed the headquarters in Cairo, a perfect example of neo-Islamic architecture in the busy Qasr el-Nil street. <laughs>